Hello, I'm Glenda Lewis, and here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit police have made an arrest in a hit-and-run crash that claimed the life of a mother. 32-year-old Iris Lisiaga was killed Monday afternoon while standing on a sidewalk near Livernoy and Verner in southwest Detroit. Surveillance video from a business nearby showing a pickup truck hitting Lisiaga and then driving off. She was a custodian at Harms Elementary School. We will bring you more details about the arrest as soon as they are available. And Governor Gretchen Whitmer is proposing a $500 tax rebate for working families. The governor citing surplus tax revenues in Michigan and the need to quickly help people who are suffering from inflation. In a letter to legislative leaders, Whitmer said, Michiganders need real relief now. Specifics on eligibility for the proposed rebate were not immediately available. And a huge shipment of illegal marijuana did not get past Customs and Border Protection in Detroit. Agents found more than a ton of weed inside an inbound semi-truck at Fort Street Cargo Facility. Smugglers tried to pass it off as foam pool toys, but the boxes contained 2,175 pounds of pot. CPB seized the trailer and the cargo. No word on any arrests. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Dave. A couple little showers out there this evening. We had one thunderstorm go by northern Oakland County, but this is just the tip of the iceberg, so to speak. Uh, about the same time tomorrow in the evening hours could really be popping pretty good. We're going to get to 88. There will be some th uh, shower and thunderstorm chances late on Friday, more Friday night. Saturday, Saturday night, and Sunday, some leftover showers. So it's kind of a busy weekend weather-wise here. We'll keep you updated, of course, uh, throughout the whole time here. 88 Friday feels like 90, 77 Saturday, 65 on Sunday, then mellowing out late Sunday and Monday.